Peggy 18. This is the stealth playthrough of the Golden Cat mission from Dishonored. Here to walk you through it are co-creative directors Raphael Colantonio and Harvey Smith. Hello, I'm Harvey Smith, and uh, I'm with Raphael Colantonio, and we are the co-creative directors of Dishonored. Dishonored is a first-person action game where you play the role of a supernatural assassin. Uh, you play Corvo Atano, who is the bodyguard of the Empress, the royal protector, and he is, uh, at the beginning of the game, falsely accused of her murder. There are many ways to play the game. This is one of the premise of the game. Um, so we provide a set of tools to the player. We provide an environment which is open and uh, with uh, various ways to get inside the buildings. And uh, the simulation is here to allow the player to explore and to uh, experiment with the mechanics. And really, it's up to the player to play its own way. And it's up to the systems to resolve the player's intention. All right, the mission in Dishonored that we're showing you today takes place in a bathhouse called the Golden Cat. And so even in the middle of the terrible plague that is gripping the city of Dunwall, the corrupt aristocrats are partying like there's no tomorrow. And in the mission today, you have to track down the Pendletons, Lords Custis and Morgan Pendleton, who are corrupt members of Parliament. We're going to play this uh, demo twice. The first playthrough is going to be stealthy, as non-lethal as possible. One of the things about Dishonored is the player is highly mobile. So there's not only, you know, sprint and slide and climb and lean, things like that that you'd expect in a first-person action game with a stealth component, but we also have supernatural powers like Blink that he was using to make a short-range teleport across the balcony. Here we see the player collecting a rune. Uh, he's using the heart to locate those runes. Those runes are used to upgrade your powers. There are multiple ways to infiltrate a building. In this case, we believe there is eight or nine ways in. You could go through the main door, or through one of the open windows or breaker windows uh, or behind the building. There's also various conduits, uh, like if you possess a rat or if you possess a fish, uh, you can go through the water. In this case, in this playthrough, we are going to show how we infiltrate the, the building by possessing a fish. You can pick up lots of little story bits by watching the characters and eavesdropping, but here the player is uh, looking for a way inside the golden cat. I have to keep this position. He says to bring a bottle, I bring a bottle. He says to bring food, I bring food. He says to undress, I undress. So now we're inside the building. Eavesdropping and overhearing conversation is a very important uh, thing in Dishonored. In this case, overhearing the conversation between those two women gives us the location of the targets. And you can see the, target, the markers are actually being updated based on the conversation that we heard. Oh, he's not the worst. Whenever you enter this mission, the position of the Pendleton Lords is dynamic, so there are several different places they can be. You can see the level of alertness of uh, the AI. So in this case, there were like those two little indicators on the, on the head of the woman because she almost saw you. Uh, and that's uh, feedback so that the, the player can know if he's currently well hidden or if he's going to be detected.
Here's another uh, note in the world that also duplicates the information that the player gained by eavesdropping earlier. So he now knows where each of the two Lords Pendleton are. With any of our ladies. Here the player's peeking through a keyhole and eavesdropping on uh, a guard and the madame of the Golden Cat. You can notice that the sound is muffled behind lo uh, closed doors. Uh, and the sound actually propagates uh, based on the geometry, which is really interesting for uh, stealth gameplay because it helps you locate very well where the uh, NPCs are around you. Here the player is choking out Madame Prudence and taking her key, which is the master key to the Golden Cat. He could have just taken the key and left, uh, but instead he wanted to loot the room, so he left her unconscious. So he could have snuck by without alerting her, he could have killed her, or he could leave her uh, choked out on the floor. It's all options. Talk to that nice girl again. The one I told you about. You realize you're at the Golden Cat, right? Yeah, but she's different. She really likes me. <laughs> Idiot. She likes your money, not you. You're just jealous. Shut up. Dunstan. The Pendletons are here. You're supposed to be on duty. Given the fact that the player can approach the game in a variety of different ways, very very violently or stealthy, killing everyone or literally killing no one as they play through, it feels very different when you play the game each time. It feels like you're authoring your own path. Not only uh, are the, there are these different stylistic ways to approach the game, but there are many different powers you can buy and no player can have them all. And then there are also different pathways running through the map, as, as we've mentioned. Here the player has learned that uh, one of the Pendleton Lords is in the steam room downstairs. So he's descending into the uh, hammam area. No, we'd make even more if they didn't blow it on prostitutes. My cousin's a foreman at their mom. He says the slaves have dug half a mile down, so deep they're dying by the dozen from collapse. For this playthrough, he's going to attempt to take out the uh, corrupt to members of parliament without Looks sounding like any alarms. So he doesn't want these guards to see him or fire their guns or yell for help. Uh, there are several ways to access the target. One would be to find the key for this door because it's an unbreakable door. Another one would be to uh, use a fish, and, uh, which is in the pond, and infiltrate this way. The other way is to make it look like an accident, and so this is what we're going to do here. The screams lasted hours. He begged and let him die. That's terrible. And I think I've lost. Oh, what is that noise? Oh no. No, no, no. So as Raph said, you know, we made this look like an accident, right? So the target's been assassinated, but it looks like an accident. However, there's also a completely non-lethal way to do this. Custis and Morgan Pendleton are slave owners who run a mine, 
And so by doing a side quest for a crime boss named Slackjaw, uh, he will take them for you, shave their heads, obscure their identities, and put them to work for years in their own minds. So it's a way to accomplish the mission and neutralize the targets without actually killing them. And across the game, uh, all of the targets can be dealt with this way for the very thorough player who doesn't want to kill them. So here the player is sneaking in stealth mode and he's using his uh, dark vision power to see through walls and see the view cones of the uh, characters, the guards, know. and he's moving up on the second he target. He didn't get a good look. Did he say what he wanted? I hear he didn't say a word, but he went through the place like the outsider himself. Maybe the plague's driven him crazy. He didn't fuck that word. Mm -hmm. So many people ask us, um, can you possess anything, like even the target? And uh, the answer is yes, you can possess the target, which is what we are going to demonstrate here. My overseer, for all I care, I've never been this drunk. Some of my friends say I look like Lady Boyle. Leverly, that lucky trollop. If I'd found those crystal deposits on my estate, I'd be throwing parties too. I'd be buying the Lord Regent's favor too, instead of begging for money from my cousins. I didn't mean to upset you, my lord. Wait. I thought maybe you should dress up like her. Yes, I think I should like to teach her a lesson. Are you okay? So because these things can happen dynamically almost anywhere, the lines are unscripted for uh, characters commenting on uh, whether you know you look sickly or not when you're possessing someone. Here the players use the sleep dart to uh, knock out this courtesan. So here we're going to demonstrate one of the ways uh, we can combine powers. Here, in this case, the player jumped off the building and would have killed himself normally, but instead what he did is that he used the possession power uh, on that woman and therefore uh, projected himself in, uh, into her body and then could walk around this way without dying. What's happening to me? Those are things that when we designed the powers, we, uh, we did not know the extent of the, of the possibilities and, and then like looking at players, finding them out is, is really, really satisfying for us. And this is the end of our stealth playthrough. Thank you for watching. For an alternate approach, check out youtube.com slash dishonored or dishonored.com.